Hello crafters, Danny Crafts here, and welcome to another episode of Crafting with Daniel. On today's episode, I'm doing something I'm really excited about. I'm doing a an unboxing of my recent order from Wooden Wick Co., which is probably my favorite candle supplier brand on the internet. But before I start this video, I just want to say that they um, are an American-based company, and the shipping can be quite expensive. Just if you're ordering from there from Canada, get ready to be f***ed up the butt with taxes and duties and whatever that is. I had to pay almost double what I paid for the candles in shipping fees. But in other news, my candles have been selling and my packaging game has gotten kind of strong. So Wooden Wick has definitely helped me get there, but I'm, I'm kind of got to move on and start sourcing locally. So let's just dive on in. I spent a solid three to four hundred dollars on this order, including shipping. So keep that in mind. The first thing I want to open up is this box. Yeah, I have two boxes and this entire second box is all votive. So I got the Aura um, container and they wrap it in this environmentally friendly bubble wrap. It's just kind of like crinkly paper, which I think is absolutely amazing. We'll just open this up quickly here. It might seem excessive, but it's all recyclable and I'm going to reuse all this after. I already started saving it from the first couple that I opened. Oh, shit. Okay, that, that's kind of a lot, but it's good for the environment and that's what counts. So these are the Aura Votives. I got it in this like matte gray finish. It's freaking beautiful. These are going to be more of my luxury end candles. I, I don't know the ounces. It's like 11 ounces or something. I don't know. It's big. But the diameter is about 3.5 to 4 inches. It's pretty tall. It's gorgeous. I love these. I'm so happy with them. So I will have to open those all later and save all the packaging. And you get all your tops separately. So for my lids, I chose these... Um, these large kind of cork material lids, which I just think look amazing when they're on top. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Um, so I'm really excited. I don't think I'm actually going to put any really excessive labeling on them because they're pretty gorgeous on their own, just as like a decorative piece in your house. So I'm super excited about these. I think they're going to sell really well at my market in November. Fragrances. I learned the hard way. I got four fragrance oils here for my fall, end of summer, fall line. And these, the great thing about these is that they're good for home and body. So you could use them as fragrance oils for anything you make, like chapsticks or body butters or soaps. But I'm going to be using them for candles. Um, I got four here. These are the 16 ounce, 470 milliliter jars of uh, jugs i got the tiny ones by accident the first time so i definitely helped myself out because about two ounces makes three to four candles so i got 16 ounces of each so i got honey and bourbon which is amazing gilded rose and spruce which is going to be more of like a wintry candle it's a bit floral too so that's awesome cashmere and vanilla which is a per uh, personal favorite i think it's good for any season really good smell here and then my new favorite is the woody leather and brandy oh my gosh it smells so good really fancy kind of smelling bergamot candied orange geranium leather and rosemary oak moss patchouli clove and tobacco it is just like a really nice like foresty leathery something you find in like a nice cottage or rustic home or something i really love that that's a new favorite i got a ton of wicks here i got two of the whisper wicks because i'm going to use one in my silver tins and then one for these bigger votives so i got a 0.03 and a 0.02 and i got a hundred of each so let me just take these out quickly for you they just look like that they're nice and they're nice and small um i got the smaller ones here i got these smaller ones for my tins and then i got these bigger ones for these votives so this is going to look really nice. I think having a wooden wick, geez, I'll just leave those out. I think having a wooden wick is a really nice touch and you don't see a lot of candles with wooden wick. So I think it's really awesome and gonna kind of make mine stand out a bit more. And with wooden wicks, I got my wick clips, metal wick clips. 
to just keep them standing up. These were actually a decent price for a bag of 100. So you just stick them on like that and stand it up. And it just stands like that. And to keep these inside the container, what? Yeah. I got wick tabs. Usually I use hot glue, but for these jars, I'm, jars, I'm gonna use something that's more meant for this. And then I also got two or three dozen warning labels. I really like their warning labels. And when I'm just buying stuff all together, it's just easier to just tackle them on rather than pay shipping from another place. I could make these myself, but the, the text is so crisp and small, it's hard to print like that on my HP ink. So wick clips, labels, and wicks, really good. And then I got 20 pounds of wax. So they come in five pounds. This is virgin coconut soy. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite soy wax. It's so good, it's so smooth. They have really creamy tops and it's just really easy to work with. It actually has a little bit of a scent to it too. So it just kind of really works well. Now that I have a bit more experience with candles, I am gonna start kind of getting cheaper wax that's more local. C3 Nature Soy Wax is what I'm gonna be getting next but this has been really successful for me. So I got four boxes of this, so 20 pounds altogether. So yeah, got two boxes from Wood & Wick, super happy with it. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Like I said, I did pay an arm and a leg for shipping, but these are all gonna be for my more luxury uh, brand of candle. Everything else, my smaller ones, like my more $10 candles, those are gonna be made with more, more local products, more easier to find. These ones, I'm honestly thinking of putting them online for like 20 to $40 in that range because they're really nice, they smell amazing, and they're really high quality. That's my plan for that. Hope you enjoyed this little unboxing video. I don't do too, too many of these, but I was just super excited with, with my order. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks. My mom's asking for my Etsy password. <laughs>